Hi, my name is David Pittard. I drive for Vulcan Horse Motorsport in the BMW M6. Eleventh, and that's Cairoli fending off Veroni again. They trade in fake. Anyone can get involved in the Seto Corsa Competizione. They can see some of the real life drivers in the GT World Challenge Championship as well as the Esport Championships in a normal lobby. So they can pit themselves up against some of the best GT drivers in the world uh, on, on a, a nice fair competitive platform and um, it adds to the involvement of motorsport. It brings spectators beyond just being the other side of the fence. They can now get on track virtually with some of the best GT drivers in the world and I'm not sure if there's another sport where you can really do that. I look at sim racing like it's free practice zero. I arrive at the circuit having done my preparation on the sim in the week before and I feel like I've already done a free practice session as, as soon as I hit the track for the first time. So it's a good way to refresh myself uh, and also learn new circuits. It's the first time I went to Monza last time out, it's the first time I've been to Paul Ricard so I've been learning the circuits on Assetto Corsa Competizione. I think my strongest point in sim racing is, is my persistence. I mean, what's really good about sim racing is the unlimited practice that you, you have. And as a result of it, you've really got to uh, put in a huge amount of time and effort to, again, find those final hundredths of a second. Sim racing tip, first point is get me as your driver coach. And then point number two is don't try and win it at the first corner. Any sim racer will know, and every sim racer is guilty of trying to win the race at the first corner. Try and repress that thought and yeah, make it through turn one for the rest of the race.